This is example 5.3 on page 172 of your text. In this problem, we are going to be using the solution dilution equation, m1 times v1 equals m2 times v2, where capital M stands for molarity and v is volume in either milliliters or liters. So the problem states, to what volume should you dilute 0.2 liters of a 15 molar sodium hydroxide solution to obtain a 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution? So we're given three variables that we can utilize to plug into our solution dilution equation and solve for the final variables. We have three out of four, we're solving for the final one. So the trick with these is making sure to understand which variables you're given. Typically, M1 and V1 are um, what's called more concentrated, so your molarity is gonna be pretty high and your volume for V2 will be relatively low because what you're doing is you're going to take a concentrated solution in a smaller amount and dilute it to a lower molarity and typically higher volume. So most of the time in these problems, the first two values you're given are going to be your M1 and your V1 because it's more concentrated solution and you're trying to dilute it to get to a different molarity or volume. So in this case, the 0.2 liters that is first stated in our problem. That is our V1. So our V1 is 0 0.200 liters. Our M1, which goes with our V1, is this relatively high molarity of 15 molar. So this is our concentrated solution, and it even states it in the problem, that we are diluting and we're trying to obtain a three molar solution. So our M2 is 3.00 molar. So the un only number that we don't have that we're ultimately going to be solving for is V2. We don't know what that is yet. So we're gonna utilize our M1V1 equals M2V2 equation to solve for this. So I'm going to plug my numbers in. M1 is 15 molar. M2, or V2, excuse me. Sorry, not V2. So this is M1. Our V1 is 0 0.200 liters. Is equal to M2, which is our 3 molar and we are looking for V2. We don't know that yet. So we want to get V2 by itself. We'll divide both side, sides by three molar. That's gonna cancel out my molarity um, unit and I'm gonna be left in liters. So if I take 15 times 0.2 Divide that number by three, you should get that V2 is equal to one liter. So that is your final answer for this problem. This is a relatively simple example. Sometimes that won't be as nice and neat as getting one liter, um, but just make sure you understand and can recognize what your molarities are, M1, V1, as well as your volumes that are given in the problem.